Hello everybody, this is Glorious P back in the video today, and today I wanted to talk about TCG Player and their announcement to start selling sports cards this summer. For those of you who don't know, TCG Player is a massive platform. Um, I have brought them up multiple times on this channel. I sell all my Yu-Gi-Oh cards and Pokemon through them. Um, it is a great platform. Um, it comes with all the bells and whistles, pricing. Um, it comes with the easiest way to list cards in my opinion. I'll be very interested to see how it plays out, but uh, before I dive into it, please like, comment, subscribe, let me know what y'all think below. And let's dive into this. So, as I mentioned, TCG Player is a massive platform. Um, they sell Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh!, Dragon Ball Z, all the, all, all the above TCG-type cards, gaming cards, and they are just big time. Um, a lot of people use them to sell. Um, they are great for selling low-end stuff. I would say the higher end graded cards go to eBay still, but for, for raw cards, they are the place to be. Now, they are a little different than sports cards. They don't, you know, TCG doesn't create as much as sports cards, but big, big platform. If you haven't seen them, go look at their website. But they're announcing they're going to start selling sports cards. Um, and we'll read what they say here. I got this email as someone that sells on their platform. We're welcoming sports cards, the most financially lucrative hobby collectible product line in the world right now, to the TCG Player Marketplace this summer. Our goal is to provide you with valuable tools to delight your customers and enable you to tap into a fast-growing collectibles vertical. Um, I signed up to learn more. Um, I am super intrigued. I'm interested to see what the rest of the market thinks of this. Um, I think you're going to end up with a lot of base cards listed on there for sale. Um, I'm interested to see how they kind of set up the sets and finding cards um but i think it'll be great i would rather buy from there than com c um because it's still so the way tcg player works is like this it's like ebay but without the pictures um you can still add pictures to listings but it's mainly you list a card it's a dollar you know you have five dollar minimums for free shipping and then you just mail the the buyer cards um it's a pretty simple straightforward platform it's going to be very intriguing. I'm definitely all in on it. Um, I have great success, like I said, selling on TCG Player. I get very few returns. Um, they don't require shipping labels unless it's over $20. And that's the thing that I don't know for sports cards. With so many scammers, as I showed you guys in my, in my previous video, go check that out. With so many scammers and sports card people always want tracking and there's no trust in the hobby. I wonder what they're going to do about that. Because um, I can just imagine you sell ten dollars worth of cards, and someone complains, "Where's my tracking? I never got it." And they definitely got it. Um, so you're gonna have to definitely be careful with that. Um, you might have to change up, you know, your minimums for shipping and charge for shipping. Um, but it, it it's a good platform. Um, like I said, definitely hope you guys check it out. And yeah, it just shows the uh, sports cards are growing. Um, good collectible to to flip and make money in i think this is good for the hobby um i think this really puts a dent in ebay um i think if these guys can nail it if they can do it right and we as a hobby can be more trustful um i think this is the best platform when you compare it to my slabs com c and ebay because let's compare them for a second ebay charges 15 percent fees tcg player also charges decently high fees but with ebay you have to have pictures and they have, you know, the promoting system and they have, you know, just a lot going on, shill bidding, all that stuff. TCG player won't have that. There won't be any auctions. It'll just be sales. Um, Com C is nice, but they charge you an intake fee and high fees. Um, so, and you're really, the seller's not in control anymore at that point. They're not the ones shipping it. It's an interesting platform. And then when you look at my slabs, the whole we don't have fees thing. They actually have like 4% fees and they're starting to do raw. I just don't like their platform layout. Like I don't like how, when I search for someone, it's, it's just too much. Like I, I've tried to get into my slabs. I just can't do it. Um, there was star stock, but the issue with star stock is again, they intook cards and they charged you for it. So TCG player, you will be in charge of shipping the cards out. Um, and yeah, I think it'll be good. I think, especially if you're into set building, this will be a good platform. Um, they already have a nice layout for things. And so, yeah. So let me know what y'all think below of this information. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.